Almost every page on our Moodle server is displaying one of two course formats. One is called Collapse Topics, and that's the default. So if you have a new page made, that's what you'll see. And the other is called the Topics format. And these relate to what um, it looks like in the center section of your Moodle page. So Jane, for example, is in Collapse Topics. And what that basically means is that each of the unit materials, um, those are also called topic blocks, are collapsible. So for example, if I click on one of these units, like week one on the triangle, you can um, see that there are several different posts there. And if I click on it again, you can collapse that. And you can open all um, this way, and you can also close all of them. So um, this is called Collapse Topics, and the customizable part of Collapse Topics is the color scheme for the background of the header, the header text, and then the hover cover, hover color when you hover over any of the unit headers. So for example, if you looked at another one of um, Jane's pages, you can see that it looks um, totally different in the center, center section because of the color choices. So those, that is called Collapse Topics. Now the second possible course format you could use is called the topics format. That is when you see every um, topic block at once. They're not collapsible. So for example, this is um, Johanna Olson's page and I think she's done a really nice job with this course format. So I'm gonna scroll down. Again, this is her first topic block for unit one and then she has a, a, a header name. Um, and then she has uh, unit two. Now she's hiding this second unit because she hasn't um, taught this unit yet this year. And so it's possible to hide so that the students don't see all of them at once. But, um, but there, it is more of a longer list where you can scroll through and see what's in each of those units all at once. So that's um, what her page looks like and I think she's done a great job there. So I mentioned that the default course format that we have applied is Collapse Topics. So if I were to make you a blank page from scratch, these are our default colors, which can be customized, and this is the look of the page. It's very easy to change over to Topics format if you're interested in that. If you go in your administration block, click on Edit Settings, go down to Course Format, you can go from Collapse Topics to the Topics format. There are some other formats that are not as widely used. So what about the customizing of the colors? Okay, um, you can do that easily. One of the resources I use is called Color Lovers. So I'm going to, it's spelled a weird way, C-O-L-O-U-R. So I'm gonna load that page in a new tab. So here I am back here in my settings for my page, and this is where you can customize the colors. So if you go into Color Lovers, they have something called palettes. So I'm gonna browse these palettes, and there's millions and trillions of them, and pretty soon if you start to go through them, you could probably find one where you really appreciate the colors. I am going to just randomly pick one here. So I'm gonna go with, up. Oh, these look great. I like the browns and the oranges. The one thing you wanna um, do is you wanna make sure that if you have a really dark background that you have a light font color for the text and vice versa. If you have a light background, then you wanna have dark font for your text. So for example, if I made this my background um, and then I made this my background when I hover over the topic header, then I wanna make sure that I have a very dark um, title or text title, so I'll use this one. So here's what you do. In this site, you click on the palette and then you go down and look at your colors and each of them has what is called a hex code and that's what Moodle is going to use to display that color. So if I take this right here and I copy that hex code, and I go back to the Moodle page, and if I wanna make my uh, background that color, I would change and paste that in. And then when I hover over, if I want it to turn to this color, I could go, and that is this one right here. And then for my text, if I wanna have this color, I'd copy that hex code 
and go back here and this is the foreground which is the text and I'm going to have the same color whether I'm hovering or not. I click on save changes and bada bing I've applied that color scheme to my Moodle page um, based on looking through color lovers.